G'day guys, Jake here. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to figure out how much Azure will actually cost you to hold, to host either your servers or your websites or anything you want. So first thing you want to do is actually go to Azure and we'll go to here and here's the whole thing. You can try it for free which I'll take you through that in the next video. But what we're going to want to go to is pricing. So just select pricing. Now, they like to give you their little jargon. Starting from free, starting from $13. You'll barely be able to run a machine on $13. So first thing I'm going to do is take you through the pricing calculator. So if you select pricing calculator, it'll give you all the different little services that you can get on Azure, like virtual machines, cloud services, and all this sort of stuff. And it gives you these plans. Now, these little plans, it tells you here what's included. So you get two CPU cores, 14 gig of RAM, 100 gig SSD. And as you see, we have it at $0. And that's because there's nothing selected here. So if we move that across, one, two, however many you're going to need. So let's say, for example, I want a server to host my ERP software and that's going to need SQL. So you can use SQL here, but if it needs, sometimes it doesn't really work. This SQL stuff down here, SQL databases. So it's a relational as a service database, but it doesn't really work that well for stuff that is saved on a server like if your application actually needs a windows server box that's not very good these sort of databases are more for like web applications and stuff like that so i'm going to want a virtual machine that will run sql and run my application to let's say support 20 users so there's windows virtual machines which i'm going to need so as you see, there's these little plans, and I'm probably going to need around 4 gig of RAM and 2 cores. So that's going to cost $111 a month or 15 cents an hour. But that doesn't have a copy of SQL. I actually need SQL Server Standard. So you're going to select Standard, and you're going to need to figure out what you're going to use. Now, I probably want 2 cores and around that and probably around 50 to 100 gig of storage so here we go down to the A series that's web we don't want web we want service standard so yeah around about that A2 and we're going to need one of them so it's $435 a month so that's good now that doesn't actually tell me how much storage I need. So I'm going to have to go to data management. So remember that's about 430 bucks and go storage and VHD storage is stored in this page blobs and disks. So I'm going to also need another, I don't know, 100 gig. So there's five bucks for 100 gig VHD for the month. All right, so that's done. But now this is only locally redundant, so that if that data center goes down, that's no good. Or if that VM goes down, it's no good. If we go to zone redundant, that will mean that um, inside of that data center, if the data center goes down, you're still not very good. But if the um, VM goes down, it's all right, it's backed up. Geo redundant, that will make it better. Basically, it means that it's stored in two different data centers. So I'm going to actually want my virtual machine geo-redundant. So it just means I'm going to need two of them. So that's 900 bucks. Plus, let's say, 200 gig a month bandwidth. So there's around about $550 that I need. And per a month, that is. If I want support, there's these different plans for support which we'll go into another day. But now that's the basic calculator. This actually isn't accurate, 
because depending where you want it stored, it will cost a different amount. So let's say we're going to go to compute Windows. Let's just do a virtual machine. So Windows virtual machine, Australian dollars, because obviously I'm Australian and I don't want it hosted in central US. So as you see, here's the price anyway, $14 a month for these little instances. I actually want mine hosted in Australia. There you go, price is different. So that first thing, the pricing calculator, just use that as a guide. And this, these actual pricing pages is where you want to get your accurate pricing from where you want your VM or your storage or whatever else. So as you can see, here's that um, SQL, which we're on A2. Were we? We might have been. Whatever we were on, let's say A2 basic. $300 a month with SQL standard. That's what it is, isn't it? And then you've also got to allocate bandwidth to storage. And the other thing is, do you want this backed up? So you might also want to go in and check out backup. So before you actually start figuring out what you, like how much things are going to cost, you need to make sure you have what you want to achieve. So and what services you're going to need. So are you going to need VMs? Are you going to need backup? Are you going to need a geo-redundant? Are you going to need it locally redundant? Is it like, how much is it going to cost you if it goes down is the real question. If it goes down, it's going to be a little inconvenient. Well, local storage is fine. But if it goes down and it means a 100 of your employees or a 1,000 of your employees are not going to be able to work or they're not going to be able to do something that they need to do, they're not going to be able to access your ERP software, well, you're going to want that zone redundant or geo redundant. I mean, at least zone redundant, if not geo redundant. And then you've got to allocate your bandwidth, have an estimate of how much bandwidth this software is going to use or whatever it is, how much traffic you're going to get on your website if you're hosting web services with as you are. But yeah, so that's basically how you find the pricing for Linux. Um, for Not for Linux, sorry, for Azure. Don't forget like and subscribe to see more videos because I'm going to be doing more in, on Azure soon. I'm going to show you how to create your free trial, spin up a VM and do a few other fun things that you can do, do some backup services. So anyway, don't forget like and subscribe to see more and I'll talk to you soon.